So the first step you want to get a frying pan onto the hob and you want it on a medium to high heat. Add a nice generous splash of olive oil to your pan and you want to season your venison as generously as you would season a steak. So use some sea salt and black pepper, roll the venison around in the seasoning so it coats it on all sides and then lay your venison into the pan once you get a very light smoking on the olive oil. As soon as it's in the pan you want to give it about a minute on one side side to get a nice sear. Turn the venison over and we want to sear the other side. Turn the venison onto the other side and we just want to brown off all sides of the venison and start to get a lovely bit of caramelization on there. At this point you want to chuck in some aromatics for flavor so I like to go in with a nice bunch of rosemary and thyme and take a small handful of garlic cloves and simply smash them with the back of a knife. Chuck your garlic cloves into the pan along with the herbs and next a nice generous knob of butter. Be nice and generous with your butter. Venison is a really lean meat so we do want to keep it nice and moist and it will give it a beautiful nut brown bernoisette flavour. Soon as your butter starts to foam in the pan we want to pretty much spend the rest of the cooking time basting our venison. So using a spoon baste the venison on one side for about 30 seconds and then turn it over and keep basting it on the other side for about 30 seconds. Hit each side of your venison keep basting as you go keep prodding the venison we want it to be nice and springy and you really want to serve venison medium rare overcook it and it will get really dry which is not pleasant and depending on the size of your venison we're looking at anywhere between four and seven minutes for it to cook and as with steak you'll get to know the cooking times and you'll know when it's done and as with steak also the most important part of cooking venison is to allow the meat to rest so pop your venison onto a chopping board and then just let it sit there for about 10 minutes and after 10 minutes of resting the most rewarding part and the bit we've all been waiting for we want to carve our venison carve it into nice thick slices we don't want it thin so it dries out and as you can see here beautiful and pink perfect medium rare you've probably seen this guy all over your feed